Hey everybody! So I have a bit of a spare time and I thought I would do um, a video um, for people to choose the cards they feel drawn to and then reveal the messages that are meant for them um, at the moment. So this video is basically, you can watch it anytime, um, the message will be relevant to when you actually watch it. So um, when you're ready, take a few deep breaths and try and ask yourself or, or ask the universe, what is the message for you? Close your eyes if you have to, um, then breathe in and out. And then when you're ready, um, open your eyes. And the first deck that you feel drawn to, that's the message for you. And then I will reveal um, what the message is. So this is group number one, this deck. So if that's what you're drawn to, this is group number one. Group number two is in the middle. And that's group number three. So group one, two, and three. So I'll go ahead um, and then I'll start uh, revealing the messages. So I'll start with group number one. So the lovely people that chose group number one, um, this is for you. So let's go ahead and reveal um, what is the message for you at the moment. All right. Yeah, I'll just move those cards. That's group number two. So you don't get confused. All right. So we've got a few cards here in this group. Let me have a look. So first of all, the first thing that I kind of, that pops up for me, that you have to find some kind of balance in your life. You know, uh, we've got the yin yang card and that comes through when, you know, we're either trying to figure out which way to go. Like we're either seeing things in black or white. Like we're not, we're not seeing the gray area and we're trying really hard to decide one or the other and you have to kind of just step back from that belief and just let things be and let the things figure out on their own like give it time and then you'll know the the right way and maybe there isn't a right way you know maybe you have to have a bit of both a bit of um the black and a big a bit of the white um because yeah sometimes in life you know we you know whatever you're dealing with right now um it's not going to be an easy solution and you have to kind of find balance because you either get too overwhelmed or you'll detach yourself too much from the situation um caring connections also came through um and i kind of with the, that card as well as with the fire cards the passion card um you know let people help you um if if they're if if you need help and if they're willing to help you don't be stubborn don't you know feel like it's it's weak to to need help um and i kind of get that you might be a bit of a stubborn person and you don't want you know you, you don't really want um people to st to step in and, and help you out you want to you know do it all on your own uh because you feel like maybe you know that only you can do it the right way and people will let you down because you know maybe in the past you've been let down by people which makes total sense um but focus on, you know, on, on the good people in your life and also release the people. Oh, we also got the release card. I just saw that. Um, release the people in your life that you no longer need, that no longer kind of serve you. You know, the people who bring you down and not necessarily who are like mean to you, but, you know, after you see them or talk to them, you just don't feel right. You know, um, you have to let them go. Um, you know, it's it's okay to to let go of, of the old and welcome the new, but don't kind of overdo it, don't, you know, shut down and completely stop talking to everyone or throw big parties every day to, you know, be with people that, you know, that you like. Kind of just, yeah, find the balance between your relationships at the moment and with the fire card, you know, th there might be a lot going on for you right now, you know, the emotions are heightened, uh, you're kind of like on the edge, um, and the the word on this card says passion. So, you know, um, I kind of just feel that you might be like kind of burnt out. Like you're just really exhausted um, and you need some kind of break because you've been battling a lot of things. Um, and so kind of just try and 
don't like take it easy. Uh, look after yourself, um, and you know, just things will get better for you. Like things will start flow flowing the way they are meant to. You know, it will all fall into pieces. It will all make sense later on. Um, but yeah, just focus on um, you know who, who you are. Don't get lost. Um, within the crowd is what I'm kind of feeling with with those cards. Like be yourself. Um, and, you know, even with people who have hurt you, you know, that they've, they burnt you, um, let them go, release them, um, and, and things will get easier for you, you know, but I just don't feel it will be really soon, you have to kind of get, go through the hard stuff, and it will be a bit of a battle, I feel, um, but the end result will be good. The last card that I haven't really touched on um, is um, this beautiful card. I love the artwork. It's absolutely beautiful. And when this card comes in the reading, um, I I feel that, you know, you might be, you're picking up on other people's stuff, you know. Uh, you're not living your own life. You're, you're, you know, you're playing the flute, but it's, you know, not your song kind of vibe that I get, you know. Um you know, perhaps you're feeling really bad, but it's not even, you know, that's not meant to be your feeling, it's meant to be for someone else, you know, let's say someone said something really mean to you, and then you, you know, overreacted, and then, you know, shut down, went to have a cry, um, whatever um, has happened, and you may feel guilty that you let the friend down, whereas it's them who let you down in the first place, so, you know, again with the release, like, let that person go, um and and kind of check in with yourself are you living your own life or are you trying to live for other people are you trying to you know to to make everyone else happy uh and going to extremes uh not finding the balance and not really living your your life so um yeah i hope that resonated um so that was for group number 1 the kind of just the key messages that came through um, and yeah, I'll go ahead and start with group number two. Okay, so people who selected group number two, this is for you. So these were the cards that were in the middle pile. Um, and let's have a look at what we've got. Okay. Let me just do that. Alright, I can already see what we're dealing with here. Um... Excuse for the shaky video, I'm, a, I'm not, um, I'm out at the moment, but I had a bit of a spare time, so I thought that I would film this video for you guys. Um, Alright, so group number two, there's a lot going on. Um, Alright, the first thing I kind of feel that you're going through a really hard time right now. Things are just all over the place. You feel out of control, uh, like not really you out of control, but life has been out of control, which shook you out of control, if that makes sense. Um, you know, we've got um, Archangel Raphael, and that's all about the heart chakra. So, you know, I feel like, you know, you, you need to, and we also got the door to spirit card. It's interesting that it came with the heart chakra. Um, you know, you need, there's some kind of healing that you have to do or will have to do really soon. Um, because I just feel like you're in the middle of a storm right now. And, um, you know, the, the way to, to heal your broken heart or to, to heal your, you know, your past or w whatever it is that you're going through, you know, um, the simple things is just, um, you know, opening up to spirit and, and asking them for help. This guy is absolutely beautiful and it just, it's just so peaceful to even look at. Um, so you're encouraged to, to, to pray, to, you know, ask the universe for, for healing, to ask, you know, for what it is that you need. You know, if you're in a difficult situation that you need to get out of, um, talk to the universe and say, you know, this is my situation. I, I want out of it. Can you help me manifest that? And, you know, it, it works miracles. Um, from my own experience, I know that when I was in a bad situation, um, you know, things just, when I try to let go of control and just let, let the universe do what it has to do, you know, things worked out in the end and I, and I got out of whatever was going on for me at the time. Um, 
with the volcano card, you know, things that are happening in your life right now are out of your control. So, you know, there could be, you know, financial issues, uh, people who have hurt you or, you know, t talk behind your back or, uh, you know, just there were, you know, um, people losing jobs. Um, you know, because a company shut down or something like that. I feel, you know, whatever's going on, like it's out of your control. So don't feel like you, you caused anything or you did something wrong because, you know, even though it's really difficult to be in that situation and I, and I completely, you know, feel for you if, um, you know, um, you're in a bad space right now, but, you know, it, it will settle soon, um, and it wasn't your fault. You haven't done anything wrong. It's just sometimes, you know, what what it is. Um, and with um with the ocean card, you know, I feel that you know as as the waves come in and then you know they come in and out, in and out. You know, that's that's how it always was. You know, um, the waves never kind of stop. Um, and I feel like that's with life. You know, but sometimes like, you know other things outside of our control going back to the volcano card can can you know impact that natural flow of of the waves that the natural cycle of how things are meant to be um you know for example let's talk think about oceans you know when there's like a hurricane or something that's going to have an impact on on the waves on you know on how fast they come or how big they are so you know at at the moment i feel that things things will be or have been or are um you know just out of control for you right now like they're, they're just not you're not in a good space and that's not where you want to be um just breathe you know um and it's interesting this is like the the swimming car it's like she's she's swimming she's some kind of mermaid um and it's beautiful and you know we also got the the ocean card so just you know breathe and just keep swimming you know just keep going you know sometimes it may be harder you know you maybe have sink you sank deeper than you know you'd like to but you can still get out of the water and get to the top so just keep on going and breathe you know and if you need to rest take a rest and then keep going uh but don't you know like don't give up um and things will get better for you um We've got the triggers card. So um that's the last card that came with this um with group number two. And um you can see the the bubbles and there's something else going on in each bubble. And you know, I feel as I said earlier, things are kind of out of your control and there's a lot of stuff going on, you know, perhaps multiple things happen at once and you're just like, Well, this is too much, I can't handle it. Um, you know, it's a good time for you to identify you know, like, yeah, the things that get you down, you know, for example, if someone, um, you know, let's say talked behind your back, um, you'll know for next time that, you know, you'll watch out for, for that. Uh, if people start to behave a certain way, you'll start to separate themselves. Um, you'll start to separate yourself from them. You know, you're kind of identifying the things that trigger you, the things that you, that you don't want so you can better you can be better prepared for next time uh but really just i i feel that you know i feel really like i have a heavy heart doing this particular group um but just open your heart to spirit and things will get better um don't lose hope um so yeah i hope that that resonated and that you know uh makes sense so I'll go and start um doing group number three reveal. All right, so group number three, um, this is for you. So this was the third tile, and I'll go ahead and um have a look what we've got. Oh wow, okay, all right. Oh, let's see. All right, so we've got beautiful cards. After the first two two um two groups didn't have very very positive cards, so I'm glad that this this group um has very nice cards. Um so first of all we have you know transformation rebirth. Uh basically something you know in your life your your 
you kind of after you know a big storm you might be you know becoming whole again you're you're becoming stronger and i know it sounds very cliche that you know you're you, you'll be stronger than you've ever been before but you know it it can really be true you know you are transforming you are growing you are becoming a new person that you have not been before and i feel this is a really positive change you know you're not turning into someone mean or negative i feel this is just you looking out for yourself more than you have been before, you know, uh, a lot more self-love and, you know, a lot of healing. I feel like you have been working hard to release a few things uh, from your life, from your past. And I feel, you know, I just want to congratulate you because I feel like you've worked so hard to get here. Um, and if this is the part that you were drawn to, you know, you were drawn to it for a reason, you know, things, even if they don't seem like, um, they are being positive right now. You know, the positive change in, is coming. We've got the transformation and rebirth cards, you know, which is basically, you know, talk, telling us the same thing. Then we've got, well, door to value, victory, power, guardian. All right, really good card. So with the guardian card, you know, even you, you've been supported um, and are being supported right now. You know, sometimes when we go on the pathway that's right for us and not really, you know, for other people, maybe perhaps in the past you were doing things for other people, but now finally you are doing the right things for yourself. You know, it may feel like you are really alone, um, that you're going on this journey and, and you're by yourself. Well, you know, we've got this beautiful guardian card, so you are never, ever alone, you know. Your spirit guides are protecting you. Your loved ones in spirit are protecting you. You know, uh, there's archangels, angels, um, you know, and, and look at all the sparkles and lights and it's just such a beautiful, calming card, you know, and I just feel that, you know, things are going to be really good for you and, you know, um, perhaps if this transformation is difficult for you, know that you have that have you have people who support you, or you know whether if it's not you know people in your life right now, it's people in spirit who are there every step of the way, so you are never really alone. No to value. I feel with this card, you know, you you've been working really hard, as I said earlier, to get to where you are now. And now it's kind of coming rewards, you know, it's time to celebrate, it's time to get rewarded for all your hard work, you know, um, things are starting to pay off. And I just got the message, um, you know, someone perhaps has been um, struggling with some kind of illness. And I feel like now, after so many doctors telling you, you know, it's all in your head, I feel like you're finally going to get the diagnosis um, and, and the proper treatment. Um, I'm not sure who this is directed for, but this just came through. So someone who chosen this deck, this is for you. Um, you know, that you, you'll get some kind of answers. Uh, but I feel, you know, you, you'll be in power. You're starting to be in power of your own life, you know, rather than relying on other people and them directing and, and telling you what to do and controlling you, you are becoming your own person and you are in charge of your own life. Uh, but I also kind of feel, you know, be careful not to overdo it. Like still, you know, um, yeah, it can easily turn into, you know, um, becoming selfish or really self-obsessed. And, you know, I just, you know, I feel like this is just like you, be aware and you know, kind of don't go there because things could go wrong. But, you know, I feel like you're, you're far from that. But, um, yeah, this is just what came through. Um, and then we've got the victory card. So as as with that card, um, door to value, as I said, you know, now it's time for, for the rewards, for the answers, for, for all the battles that you've been, you know, fighting. It's finally conclusions you know you're starting a new chapter of your life you know you are becoming a new person and you're transforming into someone better and you are in charge of your own life or you know you're encouraged to to be more in charge of your life but you know also yeah be aware of of some kind of um inequality of power exchange between you know people or yourself where you're you know becoming um yeah, it's becoming toxic and, and, and you'll know if that's you, you know, it would resonate with you as I'm um, telling you this. So, um, yeah, just feel really positive. This is 
a, a great, you know, set of cards that, that were drawn and, uh, I'm just amazed at how they all basically say the same thing, you know, um, you know, the transforming re rebirth, you know, and, and, and victories and finally getting some answers and, and, and being in charge of your own life and, and being protected along the way. So this is just beautiful. So I hope, um, that it resonated for those who chosen group number three. Um, thank you so much for watching everyone. Um, have a great night. <laughs> Bye.